There is no mystery in business success. If you do each day's task successfully and stay faithfully within these natural operations of commercial laws which I talk so much about and keep your head clear, you will come out all right. The most important thing for a young man is to establish a credit, a reputation, character. If you want to succeed, you should strike out on new paths rather than travel the worn paths of accepted success. Every right implies a responsibility, every opportunity, an obligation, every possession, a duty, Good leadership consists of showing average people how to do the work of superior people. Success comes from keeping the ears open and the mouth closed. I believe that the law was made for man and not man for the law, that government is the servant of the people and not their master. When work goes out of style, we may expect to see civilization totter and fall. Do you know the only thing that gives me pleasure? It's to see my dividends coming in. I believe in the supreme worth of the individual and in his right to life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. I do not think that there is any other quality so essential to success of any kind as the quality of perseverance. It overcomes almost everything, even nature. Who is the poorest man in the world? I tell you, the poorest man I know of is the man who has nothing but money. Own nothing, control everything. I would rather hire a man with enthusiasm than a man who knows everything. Giving is the secret to a healthy life, not necessarily money, but whatever a person has to give of encouragement, sympathy and understanding. I would rather earn 1% off a 100 people's efforts than 100% of my own efforts. The secret of success is to get up early, work late and strike oil. The ability to deal with people is as purchasable a commodity as sugar or coffee and I will pay more for that ability than for any other under the sun. Character, not wealth, power or position, is the supreme word. How much money does it take to make a man happy? Just one more dollar. I never placed my head upon the pillow at night without reminding myself that my success might only be temporary. I always tried to turn every disaster into an opportunity. A friendship founded on business is better than a business founded on friendship. Never lose interest in life and the world. Never allow yourself to become annoyed. Singleness of purpose is one of the chief essentials for success in life, no matter what may be one's aim. Get rich by taking something common and making it uncommon. The common denominator for success is work. I believe in the dignity of labor, whether with head or hand, that the world owes no man a living, but that it owes every man an opportunity to make a living. I have no use for men who fail. The cause of their failure is no business of mine, but I want successful men as my associates. Save when you can, and not when you have to.
I have long been profoundly convinced that in the very nature of things, employers and employees are partners, not enemies, that their interests are common, not opposed, that in the long run, the success of each is dependent upon the success of the other. The man who starts out simply with the idea of getting rich won't succeed. You must have a larger ambition. I cheat my boys every chance I get. I trade with the boys and skin them, and I just beat them every time I can. I want to make them sharp. A man has no right to occupy another man's time unnecessarily. Probably the greatest single obstacle to the progress and happiness of the American people lies in the willingness of so many men to invest their time and money in multiplying competitive industries instead of opening up new fields and putting their money into lines of industry and development that are needed. If your only goal is to become rich, you will never achieve it. The best business in the world is a well-run oil company. The second best business in the world is a badly run oil company. The task is simple. We will organize children and teach them in a perfect way the things their fathers and mothers are doing in an imperfect way. I don't want a nation of thinkers. I want a nation of workers. Next to doing the right thing, the most important thing is to let people know you are doing the right thing. The way to make money is to buy when blood is running in the streets. Be sure that you are not deceiving yourself at any time about actual conditions. There is no feeling in this world to be compared with self-reliance. Do not sacrifice that to anything else. It is very important to remember what other people tell you, not so much what you yourself already know. You know that great prejudice exists against all successful business enterprise. The more successful, the greater the prejudice. It has always been my rule in business to make everything count. A man's wealth must be determined by the relation of his desires and expenditures to his income. If he feels rich on $10 and has everything else he desires, he really is rich. I had no ambition to make a fortune. Mere money-making has never been my goal. I had an ambition to build. Do not many of us who fail to achieve big things fail because we lack concentration. The art of concentrating the mind on the thing to be done at the proper time and to the exclusion of everything else. The secret of success is to do the common things uncommonly well. I know of nothing more despicable and pathetic than a man who devotes all the hours of the waking day to the making of money for money's sake. The success of each is dependent upon the success of the other. I wanted the best for my company. I had to do what I did to succeed. Everyone was lowering their prices to beat their competition, so I did the same. I eventually beat my competition. I can think of nothing less pleasurable than a life devoted to pleasure. What constitutes a good manager in this field? He must be knowledgeable in the art with which he is concerned, an impresario, labor negotiator, diplomat, educator, publicity and public relations expert, politician, skilled businessman, a social sophisticate, a servant of the community, a tireless leader, becomingly humble before authority, a teacher, a tyrant, and a continuing student of the arts. 
I think it is a man's duty to make all the money he can, keep all that he can and give away all that he can. I believe the power to make money is a gift from God, to be developed and used to the best of our ability for the good of mankind. Thought-provoking quotes have the power to inspire us. Which quote from the video resonated with you the most? Let me know in the comments below.